I've got a feature in Smooth Messenger called Autoresponders that allows you to automatically reply to an inbound message or take some kind of action, whether it is to tag the lead or to update a field or send a reply or create a task. They're pretty powerful, but they're also pretty hard to use at the moment. I can set it up pretty well, but people who didn't design the system will struggle. For that reason, I'm going to show you how to debug why a autoresponder didn't trigger. You can see in the Smooth Messages module, we've got a field called autoresponder debug. And this field here will help you understand why a particular autoresponder did or did not trigger. We can see, looking at this one here, that the last outbound message to this contact was, wall, this is so cool. And then this particular inbound message was hello. And if we look at this autoresponder here, it's relying on an inbound message replying to an outbound message. Therefore, previous outbound message contents would have to match what we have for this particular contact. And you can see it doesn't match. If we look further down, we can indeed see that it fails in two parts. It doesn't have the right inbound trigger, has matching inbound trigger false, and it also doesn't have the right matching outbound trigger. What you might find is that sometimes there'll be a really small punctuation issue. It might be that you've got an extra space here. I've found that often what you put in the message to send, when it goes through Twilio, it might get extra spaces added and therefore for your autoresponders you probably want to not include multiple sentences and definitely not multiple lines instead you can find the unique part of the message this would be okay for example and then the way that it works is that it checks if the outbound message did contain this part here it doesn't have to match 100% as long as it, this is unique and no other outbound message would match it and as long as it's going to be contained within the outbound message that would be fine. That's generally the number one problem that I see with both the outbound message trigger and also possible customer replies. If you can make it as small but still unique as possible it's likely to work. If it doesn't work then come down here and hopefully you'll be able to figure it out.